Hi there, new episode of this live talk. So here I talk about different topics regarding our Land Rover Defender or any experience that we have around this topic. Today's topic is would we replace our Land Rover Defender with a Grenadier and our thoughts <laughs> our thoughts on this Grenadier. I, I'm trying to say it the English way but it's kind of difficult for me. Grenadier first tell me how you say it there like this I'm not gonna annoy you all the video so uh, first time we really like had a walk around tour uh, um, on a gr grenadier <laughs> was at Abenteuer Olrad and I'm saying Abenteuer Olrad and not Alrad like I'm supposed to say there we go so we don't care how I'm talking, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so first walk around, real walk around tour um, of the Grenadier was at Abenteuer Allhad uh, in June and it was really nice. I really enjoyed uh, watching it and seeing all the details. My husband did enjoy it too. I really like the look of it and uh, the interior is a new car and they seem to have upgraded all the like uh, things that aren't really good about the Land Rover Defender and it's a solid axle so this is why if we had to replace our Land Rover Defender we would go for the all type of 4x4 a solid axle so the Grenadier is a new type of car but with the old type of 4x4 with this solid axle so this is interesting for us um, yeah the as I said the look I think it's really cool and does look like uh, a defender and also the interior was quite nice we did realize that um, it might be more difficult to do a good camper setup inside like we were able to do in our Land Rover Defender because it's the new type of car so there are kind of plastics that are taking up some space but it it's larger than a Defender so maybe you're still able to do something really cool we did see something really cool when we were over there I think it was from Black Sheep in Switzerland I hope it's correct and there were like many accessories that were already available to uh, build a cool camper setup on a Grenadier. Um, but yeah, the Land Rover Defender I think is the best uh, shape to really build something really convenient and efficient. So yeah, it's difficult to match uh, the level uh, regarding this of the Land Rover Defender. Now, the thing that uh, we think could be an issue, and this is also why we not, we're not looking to replace our Land Rover Defender, but it will happen someday, certainly. So we already try to vision ourselves, like, oh, would, be, would it be good with this car or this truck or that? So it's a new car, so we don't know how it would go if we had to replace some parts. Will they be able to continue doing the Grenadier? Imagine you buy one today and then in five years they stop. It's, uh, they, they just stop making it. And then as it would be on the market for such a short lifespan, maybe you won't be able to find uh, aftermarket parts or new parts to ha to keep your Grenadier in good health. So this is kind of a bad point for us as it's something really new. Would, would we be able to find new parts or replacement parts uh, in five years and ten years from now? Yeah, we don't know. So this is like something yeah, on the bad side. Tell me what you think about it. I mean, it seems that they are like continuing them, but we never know. We don't know how it will be in five or 10 years. Regarding the Land Rover Defender, 
it seems that in 30 years, 50 years from now, you will still be able to find uh, some parts to uh, repair your Land Rover Defender. We're going up a mountain, so it's kind of shaking now. <laughs> um, so this is a good point. If you buy an old Land Rover Defender, you're still able to find some parts like years, many years after, even though it's not sold anymore and not make, make, made anymore. So, yeah. Okay, so that was like our thoughts around the uh, Grenadier and if we would replace our Land Rover with this vehicle or not. What would you choose if you had to replace your Land Rover Defender? Which vehicle would you go for? Would be really curious to know about that. Okay, tell me in the comments which topic would be good for the next video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.